Hello and welcome to the second episode of HBM Hobby. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of doing freehand. I'm going to show you how I do the Samurai Mons for my new Ninth Age Dread Elves army and take you through the process from start to finish. So the first thing that's really important when you're doing freehand is to draw out the design first and draw it out at least twice. So this time I just drew it out in the simplest way possible, a circle with a cross. It's a bit wavy, it's a bit bobbly, the segments are not that even. So the second time around what I did is I learnt from my mistakes and I drew the crossbars first. So this allowed me to ensure that the dimensions are going to be correct. Um, I kind of messed it up a bit doing it on the wood table with a uh, wood grain and that kind of gave me the wrong um, angles a bit but you get the idea. The, the point here is that what you should try and do with a freehand is draw out what you can first and get the shapes right and then afterwards do the more complicated um, detailed tasks. And as you can see here the, the circle is much more refined and if I'd have got the if I'd have got the crossbars in the right place it would have been uh, an almost perfect circle with four equal quarters. So now we're going to do the same process on the model. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put one on this chest and also one, one on either side of the flag. So the most important thing to remember when you're doing freehand is to make sure that paint is very very thin. So you use a lot of water in the paints and this is because you really don't want to have any kind of bumpy surface on the miniature. Um, I do a lot of banners and, and if you get bumps on the banners where the paint is really thick, it looks really bad. So make sure to water down your paints just a little bit more than normal, especially if you're used to doing uh, thick paints um, and you get a much nicer finish. Now you can see that I've made a few mistakes on here and this is perfectly fine and perfectly normal when you're working with um, freehand. You're going to make mistakes, don't worry about it at all. So all I'm going to do now is open up my pot of orange paint and paint over the mistakes that I've made just to neaten it up around the edges. So here you can see I'm actually kind of going over the white to make sure I get a, like a really nice crisp straight line. Now I'm intending that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over again one more time with the white just to make sure that um, I get everything perfect. As I was saying before, the, the whole technique with this freehand is just not worrying about making mistakes. Um, allowing yourself to make mistakes and just going over the bits that you missed. And this is a really basic technique because right here I'm just using two colours. Um, it gets a bit more complicated when you're using more colours, but we're going to get to that on a future video. So here you can just see that I'm making it very easy for myself just going over the, the small bits where I've made mistakes and hopefully the end result will be very, very tidy and very fun. Um, because I, I put the paint on quite thin, I just wanted one more layer of white just to really bring out the colours. So hopefully I don't make any more mistakes here and this is going to be the last layer I put on. And there we go, we have our finished uh, chest mon for this little chap here. And the next section is going to be about the banners. So I'm going to go straight in and do exactly the same technique for the banners. All we need to do is carefully draw out the insignia that we want to do and if we make any mistakes we can just go over it again. 
and this time we have actually two colors on the banner um, you can see the two different layers that are below the, the insignia so it's going to be slightly different with an eating room it's up towards the end but that's going to be the last section of this video So now I'm going to just go through the neatening up process again. Um, I made a few mistakes, so I'm just going to use first the darker colour in the recesses where the kind of the lower point of the cloth is. I can actually go and use the darker colour in, in everything just to start with and then add another layer on top once I'm happy with, with the um, overall look of the mod. So when I've done what I'm, I can do on one side, I'm just going to flip them over and do the same on the other side. So I'm doing the same thing again here, kind of going over the white line, even though I don't need to, but it's just making it very much easier for my brush to draw a straight line and make it really sharp. And then in the last stage, I can just go over again and make a very fine, careful white line to finish off. So I'm almost done now. There's just a few little bits of errors where I've made mistakes, and I'm just going to go over the last parts again with orange. And what you can do is you can use a bit lighter orange on the areas of the highlight where you just want to kind of have that lighter shade and use that colour to get a two-tone effect as you would with a normal highlight. And there we go, that's freehand for beginners.